Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Oblivion. I'm playing as uh, Sir Reginald. Sir Reginald. <laughs> Sir Fando. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Reginald. Reginald is like a really good name for a knight. Anyway, um, yeah, we last left ourselves in Glarthir's house where we filled it with watermelons. Because we could. Uh, we actually threw so many watermelons inside this building that it crashed the game. I think we had over 4,000 watermelons inside this house. We flooded all three floors and it crashed the game. So I had to reload a previous save just to get to where we are here. Let me make sure I still have... Okay, I'm going to take one watermelon. Actually, you know what? Watermelons can stay here. Uh, if we're going to fill anybody else's house with stuff uh, at the end of today's stream, it's going to be a different a, a different piece of produce. All right. So, back to questing. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Everybody's so nice here. Okay, so we're doing Tears of the Savior. And we got to go back to the Arcane University to talk to the lady about... How goes it, friend? Keeping the killers and cut purses at bay? Didn't you hear the explosion? <laughs> Some damn drunk of a wizard started hurling fireballs at passers-by. Took four guards to haul him in. Don't forget, my friend. You and I are what stand between order and chaos. Without us, the Empire would crumble. Well, I should go. Interesting story about a, a wizard there. It's good to see you again. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, um, I learned about uh, refined frost salt. Yes, I have them for sale. If you'd like to buy some, feel free. They're top quality. I refined them myself. Please go on. Well, at least I persuaded you. Business. I'm going to push 55% because I'm going to have to buy all of these. I can't make that deal. Oh, come on. Victor Virick has followed me. Well, thanks for the follow, Victor. <laughs> Hello, Sir Victor. Have you come to join me in my epic quest to find Geridin's Tears? Also, I need ectoplasm really bad. Come back and see me again. Uh, will do. What do I do with these? Sorry, that's all I had. The refining process is quite costly and very tedious. Okay. I wish I could tell you more about them, but that's all I remember. Okay. If you come across any She's got no more information. Um, no idea what that is, but I've finally decided to see what this game is. Oh, well, welcome to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, I believe it came out in 2006. I want to say 2008. All I remember is playing it in my freshman and sophomore year of high school. So first and second year of high school, which was the 2008, 2009 time. So this game is uh, almost 20 years old. I know Skyrim's 10, this game came out first or before that. So it's been, it's been a minute. What did these refined frost salts do? They give me frost damage. Okay. Uh, I should make my way to Frostfire Glade, which is here. Frostfire Glade, south of Frostcrag Spire. Let's go to the spire. The game is literally as old as you. Alright, Frostcrag Spire. A uh, blatant piece of DLC right there. No other uh, models in the game look like that. 
Uh, but we're not going there. That is a player house that I can buy, and I'm not a mage, so I have no use for that place. I do, however, have use for a castle, because I am a valiant knight with a trusty iron sword in hand. I just have to descend the mountain. Like, and you thought Skyrim mountains were difficult to climb. This is an Oblivion Mountain. It's... It's like... 85% incline. It's, uh, it's pretty steep. Like, I, I really hope... I really hope I don't take any fall damage on my way down this mountain. Because that would be... Very unfortunate. Oop. 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 <laughs> Oop. <laughs> okay, that, that, that one was not on purpose. Okay. We made it back into... That is an interesting skyline. There's the Imperial City. In between the trees. Enjoy the view while you can. I believe it's sunset. Give me some of these. Okay, so I'm supposed to find Garadin's Tears, which are like crystallized tears with magical properties. Because reasons. And bring them back to... I believe it was Sidrasa. In the Mage's Guild. Um, honestly, the only reason why I'm coming over here is because I anticipate ghosts in this cave. And I need to fight some ghosts. Problem is, I just have this iron sword and iron shield. And ghosts are immune to normal weapon damage. So I'm wondering... Well, at least I found this location. Tell you what, if, there's, if there is ghosts in here... There are ghosts in here. I will turn back and get myself a silver sword. Oh, that's a wolf. I could try scaring the ghost really hard. I'm surprised that uh, these wolves aren't giving me any diseases like rock joint. I'm getting better at killing rats, at least. Okay, let's see here. Ha ha! Okay, there's another over there. I'm surprised I've been playing... What level am I? I'm level 4, and I still don't have gauntlets on. Okay, this is, uh, special door number 1. Okay, I need... I must... Okay. The refined frost salts in hand, I must... All I must do is open the seal by touching it. Okay, I'm pretty sure by eating the frost salts, I should uh, be immune to the frost effect. Or the game could crash. <laughs> 
The game has crashed. Welcome to Oblivion, everyone. And we're back. At least we auto saved in the cave. Okay, let's speed through here since all we know is just a bunch of rats left. We'll just speed through these these rats here. Ooh. Nice hit. Okay, that should do it here. Got the little quest thingy. I'm gonna save here. Cause I have a feeling it's gonna do that again to me. Save often. <laughs> yeah, save often because the game is unstable after uh I think this came out uh when Windows Vista was a thing. And it was developed like for like the Xbox 360, uh PlayStation 3 and uh Windows XP. So like it, it struggled to transition to Windows Vista, and then Windows 7 came out, and then there was Windows 8, and now I'm playing on Windows 10. I'm pretty sure if I played on Windows 11, if I played this game on Windows 11, um, I don't think it would run. Victor says, uh, you're too young to remember anything before Windows 7. Well, let me tell you about my good friend, uh, Windows... XP. There's like no crashes. Imagine an operating system that didn't crash for one. And these are just generalizations based on my experience. Like all the built-in programs ran perfectly. I didn't have to mess with any settings to turn off notifications and adware because there weren't any adware on the operating system. It was great. It didn't track your every move. The website cookies were just like there to load the website faster not to like store data data on your computer it was there was no crashes it, it, it was fun i liked windows xp and then came vista okay one thing i remember about this area is i would randomly take frost damage Especially once I got, like, towards the center. So I'm gonna try to stay out of areas where I could take frost damage. Yeah, It's got me. So I bought all the refined frost salts. I'm gonna try eating one. Oh, I can't eat quest items. Well, why did I buy all five? All right. All right. Um, for five seconds, I don't need. Can I make a potion out of it? Won't even let me do that. Okay, is there any resist frost? Uh, at least I can make restore health. That was a fun sound. Cure disease? Oh, that's... I just made a powerful potion right there. Uh, 
Uh, what else could I do? Any damage help? That's a pretty good potion right there. Okay. Okay, how close can I get? Oh. There's a Frost Atronach. Maybe if I kill him, the, uh... Actually, time to... This is a good opportunity to level up the bow. Ooh. He's good at what he does. Ow. <laughs> How he runs is... An Atronach in this game is basically an elemental. So we got our little ice monster here. They also come in uh, fire and storm varieties. Storm being like earth and air mixed into one. So that's, I, I would say that's why they're called Atronox instead of elementals. I'm really bad at hitting this guy. His run is so silly. You're not regenerating health, are you? I hope he's not regenerating health. Come on. I got a surprise for you. Where is it? Where's Flash Bolt? Ha ha ha! Have some fire. He moves like a cartoon. Like, when he attacks and, and casts spells, it's all, it's all well and good. And like, when he's just walking around, he's, uh, my accuracy is comparable to Minecraft. I would agree. They do miss a lot. Also, the uh, arrow physics in this game are a little heavier than other games I play, like Minecraft and Skyrim. Arrows are just bouncing off of him. Come on. Ah ha ha. Ooh, that was a direct hit in my face. Get back here, you arrow sponge. This is one of my least favorite things about Oblivion compared to Skyrim is like you would, uh, oh, I can make him wave. Hey everybody, I'm a frost atronach. I'm a glade guard, I died. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> Can I do it with the other hand too? Hi everybody! Hi! <laughs> Hi everybody at home! I killed Jack Frost. Okay. Here's the question. Um, is this place going to kill me? If I get closer now. Or was it because of him? Because I see the mist. Ow. What effect is that called? Frost damage. Fire glade. Now can I eat the frost salts? Those were the wrong frost salts. <laughs> See, I can't eat those now. Um. Okay, so... As I recall, there's a way into the glade to be able to grab the tears and just get out. <laughs> is this place going to kill me? Yes, it will. And that is why we save. I've entered the center. I've discovered... An astonishing sight, Garadin himself locked in an eternal frozen struggle with a huge frost atronach. It appears that Garadin had dropped his weapon and was using the ewer to protect himself. The atronach smashed the ewer, which must have reacted with the magical waters and froze everything solid. A sad end for such a noble knight. And this is one of his tears. I should continue searching as there may be more. Well, I want to make sure I have enough health potions for this. Restore fatigue, damage health. Okay, I just have one more. So I think I'm going to have to use the Heal Minor Wounds sc scroll. Chameleon Bound Gauntlets. Turn the west, voice of the Emperor. Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how many tiers there are. I know this quest is kind of hard to complete. Also, um, yeah, you can kind of see Garadin struggling against the, uh, Atronach here. Yep, there's the best view. Okay, up oh, here's one. There's one. The longer I stay in this mist, the more damage I'm going to take. Keep searching as there may be more. Fifth and final one. Now I can go back to Sadrasa and get my hard earned reward and perhaps a warm fire. Yes, because it is cold here. Also, I'm out of Magicka. <laughs> I ate the wrong salts. Yes. All right, bye, Mr. Frost Atronach. Bye, everybody at home. This this is already my favorite part of the stream is just making the Frost Atronach wave goodbye. Okay, that was nice. I may not need a warm fire, but I would like a warm bed so I can level up. Stay warm, Mr. Frost.
Episode 1 was like all about somebody named Mr. Tinker. And I was trying to find out who Mr. Tinker was. Uh, last session, it was all about uh, messing with Glarthir. This one, uh, we met Mr. Frost. Okay, back to Leowen. Hopefully I'll regain some health on the fast travel. I'd read the loading screens, but my computer just loads the game so fast that you can't do it anymore. Back when this came out, you could actually, like, have enough time to read them. But now you don't. And I still don't have any ectoplasm, so I can't do any quest, or I can't do the quest for the Fighters Guild yet. Do, 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 do. Well met, guildmate. You look like you've seen some travel. Yeah. I found Garadin's tears. You found five of the tears? Fantastic. This turned out better than I expected. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. I like bonuses. 500 gold coins. They're the pride of my collection. And the quest is over. Certainly. Yeah, he's already maxed out. Let's get to training. You can train me in alchemy, but I don't, I don't need. The tears look beautiful in my collection. A thousand thanks once again. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, you're the alchemist. You. Nice to meet you. Can you can you sell me? Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to Ectoplasm? See. Ectoplasm. This position seventy. Can I buy it at this price? Yes. Okay. That's one down. I think I need four to go. What else can I sell you? Damage fatigue. Do a little haggle. A fine transaction. Okay, I need that one. That one turned out That's to be useless. Idea. This one's okay, but I'll still sell it. Well, I can sell you wolf pelts. I'm not gonna sell my paintbrushes. I appreciate your business. Paintbrushes uh, are the most valuable Have item in this game. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. And if you don't believe me, you should uh, watch my last stream. <laughs> May all your travels be safe. Okay, so Magart. Yes, five portions of ectoplasm. I have one. So where do we find ghosts? That's what I want to know. Let me go to the Fighters Guild and sleep real quick. How goes it? Oh, it goes great. I'm just looking for a bed. I think we're in for some hard times. The death of Uriel Septim and his heirs changes everything. Hey, a bed. Ooh, I got a couple fours. Intelligence, speed. Wait, I don't, I don't have intelligence as a major skill. I don't use alchemy, conjuration, and mysticism. Um, the total magicka is nice, but I technically don't need it. I do need endurance. And personality is also good to have. So, even though this gives me a plus four, I'm going to take these. What? He did not choose the most efficient level up? It's what my character would do. Is Hello. how some people would rationalize it. There's no ectoplasm in the Fighters Guild. Hi! 
Brodras of the Fighters Guild. I don't do contracts much. Mostly I'm a trainer. Heavy armor. Ooh. And look, no jokes about the heavy armor, eh? Not every boss man sneaks around with bows and arrows. I'm as tough and beefy as any orc. Got it? I believe you. I can show you some new things. No, he can't. Take your time. Oh, I can persuade him. What a great story. Don't talk so... <laughs> That's really funny. That's just talk. I wish I could say that. That's just... Don't... I like that. A lot. Not now. Well done. Oh, that's great. You're wasting your hmm. breath. D I w there you we go. <laughs> Where'd you get that? That's good. Persuasion minigame wheel is weird. Farewell. Okay, where... Oh, where do I find ghosts? Well, for one, I'm going to need a uh, silver weapon. So, I need to go to the local weapon store. Let's see. Best goods and guarantees. I believe it's this one, the dividing line. Yes. Hello. I hope I can help. You have a silver sword? Can I interest you in some of my wares? No, but he's got a two-handed cleaver which I don't need nope he doesn't have it goodbye I need a magic weapon or something okay what other quest can I do to find ghosts seeking your roots door in Nibbon Bay find the air Preparing the orrery, Battlehorn Castle, Frostcrag Spire, Deep Scorn Hollow, Unearthing Mayrun's Razor. I remember getting a lot of arrows from that quest. Dunbar Oak Cove, Hor Horse Armor. I'm afraid uh, none of that's going to help. Maybe there's ghosts in the crypt, of the crypt of the chapel. You never know. Let's get let's get a prayer buff. Okay, chapel hall, undercroft. Aha. Okay, so the chapel hall, I can't go into because it's red. However, the undercroft, I'm not trespassing, even though there was a lock on the door. Solana Blandia, healer of the Leowin Chapel. Bless the Nine and all the faithful. Cool. Um, Leowin. May you find healing here for your wounds and for your troubled spirit. There's a peace here in the chapel for all who seek it. That's great. I see there's a ghost over there. I'm gonna go talk to the ghosts. Um. My attack has no effect. Sometimes enemies follow you if you aggro them. Okay, I need a magical weapon. Talk, yeah, talk to the ghost with a sword. They attacked me first. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Mages Guild, see if they have like a magical dagger. Wait a minute. Magical dagger. That's it! Boots, gauntlets. Hmm. 
I could get a magical dagger. Well met. Hello. Nice to meet. Hi. Do you uh, sell magical dagger things? What can I interest you? No. Only quality goods for sale here. What? Nope. May all your travels be safe. Do you sell stuff? What? What? Take care. The answer is no. Hi, do you sell stuff? My name is... We'll see. Ooh, persuasion. I salute you. Don't try to... What a dumb... You win this one. Okay, so she likes boast and coercion. I... Gracious, what a... Don't... That's just not funny. You win... Not... That's just not fun. Oops. Such adventures. You think what? There we go. My life is drab and wretched by. Nope. I. I. So That's just stupid. That's just. No. Nope. That's enough. My life is drab and rut. What a dumb joke. No nope. way. I won't. Gracious. What a hero. That's just. I salute you. Most impressive. Not now. I won't fight you. Aha. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Okay, so she spell or she sells really good mysticism spells and recharges magical Always items. Keep your magic. You too. But no magical daggers. Hand bill. There's no people here. That's the basement. Good to see you. We're all greetings, Hi. child. No, I don't want to join the Mage's Guild. I'm a knight. Okay. Nobody sells magical weapons. Any dagger is a magical dagger if you believe. That is true. But some are more magical than others. I want to check one more shop. Best goods and guarantees. If you have a magical item of any kind that I can use that isn't blunt. Yes. Do I? For you, of course. Okay. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Absorb, frenzy, damage, agility, shocking touch, steel helmet. I'll take a steel helmet. A bargain at any price. And I'll trade you iron helmet. You drive a and a lot of these. <laughs> Cause I still have these. Oop. Looks like eleven is the number to sell. A good price for a good customer. Selling rings eleven at a time. That's so I'm rich. Cause in this game, uh shopkeepers are limited to how much they can buy or sell in a single transaction. Which is displayed as this number right here. And if I were to level up my mercantile skill, uh, I can increase that by up to 500, which is nice, but Tell it could be better. About me. Goodbye. Um, it's a little more realistic in Skyrim, but I can play it to my advantage in Oblivion, because then they never run out of money. Hello there. The only issue is if I have a really powerful item that's worth like 10,000 gold. I couldn't sell it to anybody for more than 1,700. So I got my helmet. So I'm starting to look like a, a noble knight. I just need a fancy silvery sword. So let's go back to the Imperial City Market District and see if we can buy one a silvery sword or a bunch of ectoplasm. And it's night time. A 
fighting chance. Merchants Inn. Somebody might be open here. Oh, it's 1.30 in the morning. No wonder nobody's here. I'm gonna persuade you. What do you want? I want to persuade you. All right. Okay, he doesn't not, like these. Not, don't, please, I'm not bad. Not bad at all. Don't try to manipulate me. Yeah, good one. No, oh, I didn't I do that right at all. Can I interest you in some of my wares? You got some weird ingredients, sir. Bye. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for a store to open. I hope nobody approaches me while I'm just standing out here in the street for seven hours. Nope, we're good. A fighting chance, hi! Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. And I offer advanced training for armorers. Cool. Can, we'll see. Can you be persuaded? Remarkable. Oh, please. That's really funny. Don't try to manipulate me. Remarkable. You, I like that. Don't waste your flattery on me. What a, that's just, oh, not now, not later, not ever. Don't try, well done. That's, no, I did it wrong. That? That's good. That's, what, remarkable. There we go. Don't, I would. Is I like that a lot. You're wasting your breath. Oh, that not now. Well done. Aha. Uh -huh. What? What a great story. That's I like that a lot. What? A, oh, please. That's don't try to manipulate me. You're good. Got her up to eighty-five. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Battle axe of hatred. Okay, it's a two-handed blunt one. Why is everybody selling battle axes? I don't need battle axes. Take care. I think it was Jensine. I can't remember if the katana. Feel free to browse, friend. I'm a friend. Let's do business. Yeah, it's a two-hander. I want a one-hander, and I think people who sell the one-handed sword are in Three Brothers. Hi, how's it going? Tertullian, Sergius, and Cicero, the three Varus brothers. I'm Sergius. Hi, Sergius. We'll see. Can I persuade you? I like that. Uh, don't try. Well done. That's just talk. Yeah, well, That's not bad. I did it. I offer good the finest good. goods and lowest there it is. prices in all Cyrodiil. The Sunder Blade. The Akaviri Sunder Blade. Disintegrates armor and weapon on strike. Fifteen uses. Uh, it's good enough for me. Okay, can I haggle you to 170% markup? Yes, I can. Sweet. Okay, you can have my longsword. And you can have... I was going to say you can have 240 of those, but... There, you can have those. Whoop, not the deed. You drive a hard bargain. Thank you for your... Take care. Sweet. So now I have the Akaviri Sunderblade. I'll hotkey it over there.
And now I can go fight the ghosts. Let's just hope there's at least four of them in the chapel down there. The fact that I have to go halfway across the country just to fight ghosts is kind of... Uh, not intuitive to the Fighters Guild. Like, they're only gonna pay me like two to three hundred gold for this contract. And it's already cost me like five hundred gold worth of resources. Alright, let's do some uh, ghost persuasion. Hello! Alright, that's one. This brings me two. I've already used up all the items charged. Whoa! A little damage fatigue effect going on there. Alright, that brings me up to three. Look, sewers. Ah! Sanctified dead. I doubt it. Tomb of Saint Kalidas. Doesn't do anything when I activate it. Let's see here. Poison doesn't work on those guys. So hopefully I can... Yoru, thanks for joining in the stream. Good to see ya. Playing some Oblivion today. Oh, there's an offering box. What's in there? Nothing. I'm gonna leave something since I came to kill the ghosts. Some Columbine root pulp. There. I'm a good person. <laughs> Listen to me in the background. Well, I, pre I appreciate you tuning in. Taldell, kill a ghost, lol. Well, what I was surprised is I talked to one of the uh, people that work at the chapel. I don't know if she was a priest or, or what. But she said everyone's welcome and you can find peace here. And she's literally surrounded by five angry ghosts. I am having trouble believing her words. Okay. I went to the wrong place. Uh, send me a drink, barkeep, and make it quick. I thought that was the way out. Oh, there's Margart. Have you found me ectoplasm? I did. Well, you've got the ectoplasm. Seems you fighter skilled types can do a job when you put your mind to it. Tell your men I'll pay them for minotaur horns and ogre teeth. The fighter skilled will be my sole supplier. I look forward to doing more business. Well, there we go. Take care. Hey guys, I got you work. Yep. I've told you what we need. Until we've work, we'll stay here. I got you work. Find ingredients from our guard, huh? Works for me. I'll let the other men know. Appreciate your help, friend. And Orion should be happy. Go to it. All right. No messing up the furniture, guys, okay? Okay. Alright. Now I gotta go all the way back up to Coral. Every quest sends me halfway around the country. What an inefficient guild. Because I'm, I'm like a new recruit. Like mid-level mid, mid -level rank in this guild. 
and we're spread so thin that I have to go across the entire country. Flower. Hmm. Ooh, onions. Hey, it's my pants that I left here at the beginning of the game. Or the beginning of the game. Uh, ba ba da ba. Where are you, Orain? Are you downstairs? Oh, he's in his house. I'm just gonna wait for him here. He'll show up in a couple hours, I know it. Yep. How does the day greet you, friend? What is it, Sarah? I'm looking for results from you. What have you found out? I found out that there's no work. The Blackwood Company has taken that much of a foothold in Leowin. Those sons of... Never mind. You've done your job. Here's your payment for it. PC specs, Fando? I have... Um, let's see, what is my processor? I think it's a Ryzen... I'm not sure what it is. It's Ryzen CPU, I think like 4 gigahertz. Um, I got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and then my graphics card is a RTX 3090. So it's, it's pretty good, but like I've even found ways to lag this game. Oh wait, I was going to talk to him about a job. It's my pleasure. You have, you have uh, duties? I don't have anything for you right now. Speak with Azan or Grokash. Get some more seasoning, and maybe I'll have something. Get some seasoning. Or perhaps you're ready for advancement. Am I? You've done well. Because of your efforts, you have achieved the rank of Swordsman of the Fighters Guild. Oh, cool. Be seeing you. Yeah, I, I have a 3090. Um, if you do go NVIDIA, I'd recommend maybe a different, <laughs> I'd, I'd probably recommend a different model than the 3090, maybe like a 3080 or, or something different because, um, it, the back of my card has three display ports and one HDMI and, um, if I connect to a monitor with the display port, it just gets this black flickering in the top half of the screen, like all the time. And they haven't patched that. So uh, if you do go NVIDIA, I would not recommend a 3090. I do a 3080 or less. Um, I did have to get a converter cable to switch it to HDMI though. So, um, some people said it had to do with the refresh rate, and, you know, I, I really like having 144 frames per second. Um, I'm getting about an average of 116 to 130 right now, which is indistinguishable. GTX 970, I have that card too. That was on my last PC. It's a very good card. Um, I only upgraded because I wanted to play uh, more demanding games like Fallout 4 and Skyrim with like ENB mods installed. So um, that's the only reason why I upgraded from my 970. But yeah, I love the 900 series. Never had any issue. Like I could play Overwatch at 60 frames per second without any um, dropped frames or or performance issues. And, you know, Overwatch being a brand new game when I first got it on that old card was very impressive to me. Um, I need to go back to Shaden Hall. Go talk to Mr. Grocash. <laughs> what is it, Sarah? What is it? 
Hurry up before I change my mind. This guy. I think I think this guy's Mr. Tinker. Get lost or I'll pull your arm off. He's not Mr. Tinker. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly. Where's a uh, grow cash? Keld of the Isle. Patience, caution. Slow and steady wins the race, my father always said. Careless fighters get one last white shirt and a box. Not me. For you, of course. Everybody I'm in the same faction with lo Bye. loves me, so there's no point in persuading him. Hey, where where's a uh, grow cash? Where's Grow Cash? I hope I can help. Yeah, where's Grow Cash? Take your time. Oh, I can persuade him. What a fool! I not bad. Goodness, what can I say? Bl I that's pretty really now. You're good. Yeah. Farewell. It's something. Um. How do you do? I think I've seen. Grow cash like wandering around the lake. Hello. I see you. Hello. Hello. That guy seems like a nice guy. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. You're a guard, it's your job. This NPC right here, this guy right here, he's one of my favorites. Flying, flying in the sky. Cliff Racer fly so high. Fly. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. Aldous Othran, one of my favorite characters. Who? Why? Are you? Time is. Awesome voice acting right there. The guy who does the male elves in this game. Uh, I I hope he was the highest paid voice actor. Like, he, he deserves it. Where is Grow Cash? Where is Grow Cash? Where is Grow Cash? Maybe he's back in the guild now. Would it be insulting for me to say that Morrowind had better water than Skyrim? <laughs> Best NPC you've ever seen. Oh, uh, wait wait until you find um the adoring fan. I I love the Oh, there he is. There's Grocash. I've got another contract for you, meat. I assume you won't embarrass yourself. You assume correct. It's from Vienna Amelian at the Water's Edge settlement. She needs something retrieved from her ancestral tomb. Try not to muck it up. Ooh, the Amelian armor is the best light armor in the game, I think. Especially in the early game. It, it's, a, it's a really good set of armor. You'll find her at the Water's Edge. Okay. Haul your carcass to that settlement, meat. What I don't understand is if I had to go to Leowin to get that contract, why couldn't I just speak with, like, one of the guild heads in Leowin? Like, why do we have a guild hall in every city if I'm only allowed to take contracts from two of them? I'm sure there's a mod that corrects this. Look at the size of those mushrooms. Look at that. It goes up to my waist. All right. It would be nice to have myself a valiant steed. Perhaps I shall purchase one in the Imperial City at some point. Until then... We shall do 
quests on foot. Water's Edge Settlement. White Stallion Lodge. I can easily voice over one of the characters. Uh, yeah. Um, I actually dabbled in Oblivion modding. I created like an entire uh, new land and started doing quests and I even made like some of my own uh, textures for things. I got real into it, but then my computer crashed and I lost everything. Uh, it was like a hard drive failure. So I was never able to get any of that content back. Which really saddens me because, like, I put a ton of work into it. And I'm, I'm sure everyone would love to play in a Fando mod for Oblivion or Skyrim or, you know, another form of content. What do you got here? Ooh, pumpkins. They got pumpkins, they got tomatoes, they got corn. Um, that will come in handy later. <laughs> All right. Vienna Million's house. Uh, looks like she doesn't want visitors right now, so I will pop a squat and wait. Oh. Can't wait when enemies are nearby. Where are these enemies? Show thine self. Face Sir Fando. And be judged. I'll take some nerd rut. Maybe I'll hunt some deer while I'm waiting for the sun to rise. Where did that deer go? Free stuff. Carrots, taters, tomatoes, grapes. Now I can wait. Okay, can I come in your house now? Nope. How about now? Nope. All right, what do you think, Mr. Fish? It's a, it's a catfish. Ta-da! There's just sheep everywhere, no people. I'm gonna wait two more hours, and if you're not outside your house by noon, or at least. Oh, come on! I'm not gonna trespass. Sir Fando does not trespass. I will figure out how to persuade you to come out of your house. Let's see what the else they got at this farm. Paintbrush. We're getting somewhere. Onion. Hmm. I'm surprised uh, these people haven't started their day yet. What if I uh, travel? Fast travel, would that refresh the AI? Hmm. I'm gonna check my stat block real quick. 
Days past. Let's see. Crime. Eight pieces of fame. See this? I want to. I want to keep this. All zeros. Sir Reginald does not do crime. Uh, maybe. Maybe some killing, but not crime. I want. I want this to say clean. Artifacts found. What do they mean by artifacts? I told a hundred and five jokes. Can't wait when enemies are nearby. Where's the enemy? Is it in... Is it in the water? I don't see anything in the water. Where does this path go? Rock Milk Cave. Well, that just sounds fun. Anybody want to get some rock milk? I see bedrolls outside, so there's probably people inside. Let's go s check it out while we wait for... Huh? What? What just happened? I just step in and one guy just... Why are they fighting each other? Wait a minute. I helped you. Oh no. She's not that strong. Marauders? Ooh, steel armor. Sweet. Marauder. Black Bow Bandit? That guy's name is Dead Bandit. Black Bows. Oh, there, there's a quest for these. I'll come back to these later. What's in the box? Another dead bandit. Basket. There's other things. I'm going to come back to this quest. But uh, thanks for the armor. Look at that. Looking nice and shiny. Just got to get rid of this rusty iron shield. Okay. Miss Emilian, are you ready to come out of your house and speak to the person you hired to do a job for you? As I thought. I shall wait another two hours. Sometimes quests are broken in this game. I really don't want to trespass, though. Sir Fando must remain pure. Okay, it's the evening. You're still not letting people into your house. Surprised nobody's come out to farm today. Do another wait.
That's different. Anybody home? Nope. She could knock on the door or something. All right, I'm gonna try fast traveling to the other side of the world and come back. The Anvil Lighthouse. Look at that. Got some aloe vera. Got some ships in the harbor. Get to look at everything, it's nice and cool. Which reminds me, there's a really cool mod that allows you to sail a ship um, in this game. And it is surprisingly well done. Okay, now it's now it's midnight. I'm gonna I'm gonna do 12 hours of waiting here. Hopefully the people will be outside farming and ready to talk to visitors. Hmm. <laughs> Well, here, go here goes that honest streak. There's literally no way I can uh, talk to this person without trespassing in her house. I feel so bad. Hello. You must be from the Fighters Guild. I'm glad you're here. I need your help to repay a debt. Okay. I'm afraid so. My father had a bit of an issue with gambling. I'm afraid he built up a rather large debt. Now that he's gone, the debt is mine. How much was the debt? A great deal over a thousand septims. My father was quite a gambler. Quite a bad gambler. Gone. Dragged from our house in the night. To pay the debt, I'd like to sell the sword and armor of my grandfather, or I might be next. Sword and armor? They were buried with my grandfather in the family tomb. The sword and cuirass were enchanted and should cover my debt. Please get them for me. Where are the sword and armor? Not far in my family's ancestral tomb. Here, I, I can mark it on your map. Please return them to me so I can pay off my father's debts. Hello again. Actually, I forgot to persuade you. We'll see. That's not now. What a great. Oh, please. What? Well, I like that a lot. I wish I could say your waist. That's great. How's it? Don't talk such rot. That's not bad. You're my only hope. Only hope. Sir Fan was the only hope. Now, did I get a trespass for that? I'm pretty sure I did. I did not. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. If I swim just at the top of the water, I can see beneath it. Very uh, low res ocean floor with just a couple rocks that's all it is oh I'm drowning something that you can't do in Skyrim is take out a blade and just like start swinging <laughs> like you can't do that underwater Zero out of ten, unrealistic. JK, I love this game. Oh, Nern Rut. And Stinkhorn. It's my lucky day. Put the skull back. 
Somalis plant. Som Somalius. Somalius. Salmonella. I'm gonna be an alchemist. Hello, Mr. Mudcrab. Huzzah. Okay. So if I could find each piece of the armor. Oh, what is this? It is a crack in the floor, is what it was. Zombies in Oblivion are so much more disgusting than they are in Skyrim. Very well done. Like, you know, if you if you don't like zombies because they're creepy and disgusting, then this is the game to uh, play your survival horror game. Skeletons too, for that matter. Like, the bone textures, especially the skulls. Like, if you played this game before you were... Or when you were young and impressionable... You'd, you'd be afraid of that. Oh, and, and the last little creaks in their sound when, when they die. Icing on the cake. This goes somewhere. We'll find out later. I saw a chest over here. I don't need a battle axe. Okay, now we'll go through the passage. Zombie. I can see his brain. You're missing arms and crap. These guys are tough. Jeez. I think the only thing that would make Oblivion zombies scarier is if there's a chance after killing them that they would just get right back up. I'm gonna wait one hour to regain my health. Didn't know you could do that, did you? Oh, healing potions. Good. I need those. Let's see here. Nice little wood door. Keeping an eye out for trip wires. Oh. Found his shield. I think there's a certain type of bone you can find that has the same properties as a paintbrush where if you drop it it just stays in midair. 
Sarcophagus chamber. Ooh, ectoplasm. If only I still needed that from the last quest. I'd also like to see a mechanic where if you like looted a coffin then like an undead entity would come and attack you like a ghost or or a zombie bursting out of the box add some flavor to that There's this thing and his sword. But they're quest items. Yeah, these are really good pieces of light armor. Unfortunately, hmm. That sword is better than mine. It's better than mine. Well, maybe because mine's enchanted and it's, like, almost broken. <laughs> that could be it. Alright, I need to drop, like, a ton of weight. What am I carrying that's super heavy? A five-pound minotaur horn? Let's make some potions out of that, then. I'm surprised for being a quest item, it has weight to it. Um, that, that wasn't worth it. It's a nice piece of armor, too bad it's light armor. Poison the sword. Bound boots. Bound gauntlets. I still need gauntlets. I should use these. I'll drop uh, 55 of these. Should weigh up. And I don't need 75 of these. I'll just keep 50. go I can use this one oh wait I need repair hammers to do the thing with the thing oh geez what should I get rid of could get rid of his shield that wouldn't do it I don't have a feather spell either. Q 
cure disease I'll need. Drop the mutton and the rat meat. There we go. Oh, I got a spell for that. Huzzah! A soul gem. I can use that. Okay, so the rest of this guy's armor should be around here too. Like his helmet, his greaves, his gauntlets. To have the complete set would be nice. See if we can't find the complete set. Oh, that's the way out. So I went that way first. Now we can go this way. Look how tall the wisp stalks are. Ehehe. <laughs> Alright, that was not worth it. Wait. Wait. Aha. I found his boots. They weigh a ton. That's worth a lot of money. Damage fatigue we don't need. I don't need the refined frost salts anymore, do I? Can I eat these finally? Can I use these in a potion? Yes, I can. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can bring this guy's entire armor out of this dungeon. I'm sorry, Mr. Emilian. As much as I would love to bring your heirlooms away from this place, I cannot afford to take you with me. Lost a torch. Wait a minute. The gauntlets are here and all that, that stuff is here. Where's where's the helmet? from that way 
It went this way. Fought the zombies. Helmet's not in the the junk pile. It's probably somewhere in this part of the tomb. Yeah. So I went this way. The helmet would probably be on the opposite end. Or not. Alright, I give up. We don't need the rest of the armor anyway. And it's not heavy armor. So I don't have much incentive. Unless, of course, the armor is, or the helmet is over here somewhere. But why would a dude scatter his armor across an entire tomb? When he could just have it buried with him. Also, why would a... Why would a poor family person, or why would a, a, a man who had a noble knight, who had a set of armor that's more valuable than anything, or, you know, really a really valuable armor set, your father was a knight, which implies that you are of nobility, you get addicted to gambling, and you fall on hard times so that your daughter has to sell her grandfather's armor in order to pay off your debts. Like, yes, that's a sad story, but like... Why would you only be like a thousand septums in debt as opposed to... Like, how, how much money would the grandfather have being of nobility and a knight that has that good good of armor like couldn't that couldn't that person have lived his life in such a way that his entire family would be set for life for generations to come no matter what they did i mean apart from gambling everything i mean who knows maybe maybe the gambler you know, squandered many, many thousands of gold away. And the only remaining debt is 1,000. So maybe, you know, maybe it wasn't a, as bad of a hit to the rest of the family. Hello. Hello again. Have you had any luck finding the sword and armor? I did. You found them? Fantastic. I can't tell you what this means to me. Uh, I really like the sword, though. Should I keep the sword? Should I should I pay them off, or should I keep the sword? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these for enough to pay my debt. You're a lifesaver. I can't tell you how much your help means to me. Thank you again. I'll never forget this. Alright. Do I still have no trespasses? No trespasses. Okay, we're good to go. To Shaden Hall. Where are you, Grow Cash? Right. 
evening. Hey, can you repair my sword? Oh, it's my pleasure. Let me take a look at what you've got. 500 gold to repair the sword. Yeah. Go to it. I have the money now, so why not? Duplicating rings is fun. You need to finish out the contract with Bienna Amelian in Water's Edge. What's the status? It's done, sir. Got a sword and armor for her, huh? Not bad work, meat. Here's your payment for the contract. Nothing now, not at your rank. Go see Azan in Anvil. Maybe he's got something. Alright. Go hurt something. Go all the way back to Anvil. Oh, it, it, it's a nice day out. Look at that. Is this shop open? Morvane's Peacemakers. Hello. What? What? All right. I, yeah, I, what nonsense. Don't, please. I'm sorry. I, that's pretty good. Not now. Not later. I, what? Don't, please. A good one. He really doesn't like being admired. Not now. Don't, please. I'm a uh, good one. There we go. Uh, not now. Not let. Not but. Don't, please. Uh, what nonsense. That's. Yes, yes. You're good. There we go. Armor, weapons. I have it all. Silver. I help you? He sells silver. Well, that's interesting. Restore health, but damage fatigue. It heals, but it hurts. Oh look, gauntlets! Can I, uh, buy for 156? Yes, and I'll take one shield Pleasure as well. With you. An excellent bargain. Finally get rid of that. Awesome. Um, would you like anything? Nope. Tell your friends about me. All right, I will. Fair. I got a shield, and I got these. There. Fully kitted out in all steel stuff. Well. I'm... I'm a tin can. Hello. Vigdis, Fighters Guild. Do you sell stuff? Knowledge is the key to... Nope. Goodbye. Can I help you, brother? Oh, hey, Meglier. Good day. Go hurt something. A pleasure to speak with you. Do you sell anything? You've got a lot to learn. Hmm. Apprentice teaching an apprentice. Go to it. Strange. Azan, do a you have a pleasure to see you? Hi. Hi there. Hello. Lancy Lauren. You do. There's you... much I can show you. Hmm. Good day. She can't teach me anything. Ooh. Where is Azan? It's probably upstairs. How are you? Yep. Hello. Greetings. Looking for some more work, are you? No. Good to see you're working hard. I've got some more thieves for you to deal with in Anvil. Okay. A fighter's guild chapter here is big, primarily because we're a training center, which earns us each a good living. You said thieves? There have been a number of thefts in the area. 
and witnesses believe the thieves are holed up nearby. Check around and see what you can learn. I'm not sure the numbers you'll be dealing with, so I'm sending you with another new recruit, Maglier. I believe you two have already met. Get moving. You Mac need to get clear. rid of those thieves. Oh boy. Maglier doesn't like working for us. What? I don't even... I'm not gonna talk to him. We're just gonna do the job. <laughs> the game expects me to talk to him. I'm not gonna talk to him. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta gather information around town. Hello, you look Hi. like a guard captain. Afternoon, sir. I heard there's uh, some thieves going around. Hmm. I don't think I know you well enough to tell you that. You're a guard! You know all about it! Yes? Really now? Ugh. You've got a point. I doubt it. Oh. Please, I'm in bed. I doubt it. Not, I can't argue with that. Okay, so use admire and coercible. I did this wrong. I doubt you've got a point. You're revolting. No, you do me too much honor. There we go. No, I doubt you've got a point. Not funny. Ooh. Not even a little bit. He hates jokes. That's enough. You should. No, you do me too much. I doubt it. Really? You. Ugh. That. You should be ashamed. Good. I doubt it. You win this one. Hmm. You win this one. Ugh. No. You do me too much honor. There we go. Now he'll talk to me about it. Can't say I know anything myself. But I heard that Newheim the Portly had some things stolen, and he's been asking around about it. Ask him. You know, it's your job as the city guard to take care of this stuff. Bullseye. I'm the portly. Who will help an old beggar? I'll help. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Thank you, kind sir. Blessings of Standard upon me. Bye. This is Newheim the Portly. Hell, what can Newheim the Portly do for you? A skinny man with a very port portly face. Yes. You want to tell me about stuff? That's enough. Ugh, that's goodness. What can I say? I doubt it. I doubt it. You win this one. You should be ashamed. Please, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but that you're no, you do me too much honor. Oops. You win this one. I can't. You sh no, you do me too much honor. That's enough. Not please. I'm embarrassed. Real. You got your revolt. There we go. Uh, rotate it. You win. You should. What? I doubt it. Nope. Get away from me. I doubt. I can't argue with that. Please. I'm embarrassed. You not. What a wonderful compliment. Goodness, what can I say? You Oops. I doubt it. I d that's enough. What a wonderful compliment. I doubt it. You got a not funny, not even a goodness. What can I say? He he's uh, tough to persuade. I, I won't fight goodness. What can I say? There we go. Thirty to eighty. I I know about those scum. 
Rotten bastards robbed me blind, they did. Stole a family heirloom. Bunch of Bosmer, if you can believe it. Hmm. No offense to your friend, of course. Last I heard, they were holed up in Hirota Cave, not too far from here. Rota Cave. Sup, pizza? Welcome to the stream. You like You'll Oblivion? Find it north of Anvil. Good luck. And give it to those bastards good. We're doing some fighters guild stuff. Took my flagon, they did. Passed down to me from my father Rolf, and from his father Torbalt. It's a wondrous cup. Keeps ale cold and sweet. Been drinking from a lousy wooden tankard since. It's just not the same. If you can find it, you'd have the gratitude of Newheim the Portly. All right, we gotta find a tanker. They say that when you murder someone. Did you hear Ritro is a mushroom? Ritro's a mushroom? What happened to Ritro? I'm on the edge of my seat. I want to hear more. Hi there. Hello. Found Nernrut. He just is. Don't you see it? Um, I don't see any mushrooms right now. Also, where'd Maglier go? I'm gonna go to the stables. There he is. Hello. I'm gonna see if I can break the quest by not talking to. <gasps> It's it's him. It's the most important best NPC in the game, Mike the liar. Mike knows much, tell some. Mike knows many things others do not. Tell me some rumors. The emperor and his three sons dead right under the noses of the imperial guard. It's a disgrace. Man, you've never told me that one before. Maik wishes you well. Usually Maik the liar has, like, a bunch of different rumors that no one else, uh, shares. Greetings. Pinarus Inventus. You wouldn't know it, but he's, he's like an experienced woodsman. He's really good at hunting. He just goes right up to mountain lions and then punches them to death. Wonder how far I could push grass textures. They seem to like have a clear line of fading. Eh? Grass distance, view distance, everything on. Lots of shadows. HDR, I can't have HDR when I have anti-aliasing on for some reason. It just doesn't work. Let's try that. Bam! Ultimate render distance. And I barely took a drop to frame rates. It's a wolf. He has a lockpick. Who'd you kill? He killed a courier. You killed a courier. Maik. Maik. Hey, I'm glad I found you. The emperor. Yeah, you already told me that. Good day. Okay, run along. Fastest humanoid on the planet. Okay, these couriers are usually on horses, so I wonder where the horse went. Also, why would you go off your horse to fight a wolf? And you could just stay on the horse and outrun the wolf. Especially because you're a courier. Some things just don't make sense. All right. 
We're in the cave. Okay. So there are bandits here. It looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Take some torches. All right. Uh, you're just gonna follow me? Okay, that's fine. Seems to be an empty room of some sort. Hmm. Oh, he heard something. Guild rat. Well, he's going to be stuck behind a boulder for the next uh, amount of time. Well, I can't go that way. Oh. Goes down on its own. Ow. What did you do? That's one. I'm on your side. No, you're not. Sorry about that. Did that give me an assault? Nope. Okay, we're good. Githrillion. Silver arrows, yes please. Thank you. Arrow of qualms, demoralize. I see, that's what you were doing. Pewter fork. Can't sleep with enemies nearby. I forgot to level up. I should uh, clear out these enemies up, up ahead. Uh oh. I'm gonna need some poison for this. There's a lot of them. Anti-venom. Oh, there's Bound Dagger. Oh, you're still fighting? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were still fighting. Are you not wearing pants? Looks like he's not wearing pants. <laughs> I hit Maglier. I still didn't get any crime for that. They found us. Attack! Almost died there. Yeah, he's not wearing pants. How dare. Take your silver arrows. Okay, I gotta sleep. That's what I thought. Two straight across the board. All right. Uh, endurance, obviously. Uh, strength. My personality's starting to pay off. 
Um, but what would really come in handy, I think, would be... Let's see. Heavy armor, block, blunt blade in hand-to-hand. -hand. Well, I'll use blade. I also use marksman. I'll do agility. That needs some that needs some care. Okay. Pewter bowl. Okay. Looks like there's three left in the fort. Hey, Maglier. Hey, Maglier. Hey, Maglier, guess what? <laughs> I, I, I love physics-based items. Because... You can kind of just swing them around and get hurt. Run while you can. Ah. Oh. Ah. I'll sh teach you not to wear armor. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Steel arrows, I'll take. Bow of burning. I got a new good bow. Wait. How dare you summon skeletons here? This is a no skeleton zone. Thank you. Is that a silver mace? It is a silver maze. Take that. We got him. Should uh, return to Azan for payment of the contract. Well, I gotta return the guy's tankard. I gotta do that too. Where's the guy's tankard? Let's take a copy of our amulet. No. No. Potion of healing, yes please. That looks like it. Ooh. Shepherd's pie. Nom nom nom. Okay. Okay, that is this dungeon. Thank goodness for the shield spell. Let's see, and I'm still crime free. I think that's the goal for this character is to be crime free, but but like still, you know. Snoopy. Like, I want to see what you have in your pockets. I'm not going to take anything. I just want to see it. Put out the torch. Yes, I know I can hotkey it. I hotkey a potion of healing. All right. Uh, Newheim. 
It's you. Hi. How are you? How are you? Let's see. He's he's at the port though. I actually don't know where he lives. Evening. Oh, hello. But I always see him hanging around here during the day. A paintbrush. Paintbrushes are the best thing in the game. Okay, I'm gonna... Wait a couple hours here. And then we should be able to talk with Newheim, get him his flagon back, and then go back to Azan. There he is. Hell, what? I have your thing. Ah, you've got it. Thank the gods. Finally, my mead will stay cold and won't taste like goblin piss. Take these and my thanks. Now that's a special cup. Farewell. What is it? Oh, look, she's painting. She's painting the lighthouse. I'm doing a really good job. Astia Inventius, wife of the woodsman Pinarus Inventius. Always out hunting. Anything to avoid doing a little work around the house. Farewell. Looks like you two are birds of a feather because you're always out painting. Anything to avoid doing a little work around the house, right? <laughs> birds of a feather. I haven't talked to Maglier this entire quest, and I know in previous playthroughs if I talked to him, he'd complain about having to work for the Fighters Guild again. But the fact that I haven't talked to him at all, you know, we just we just went in, we got the job done, and we went home. That was it. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Azan, we did the job. So have you taken care of those thieves yet? Yes, we have. Cleared them out, did you? Good work, you two. I see big things for you with the guild. Here's your payment. There you go, Den of Thieves. All right, anything else? I don't have anything for anyone in your rank. Check with Burr's Grokosh in Shaden Hall. He might have something. Take care. All right, I'm going up to I'm Burr's. I'm so happy to see you. I could burst. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you're happy to see me. That's because I persuaded him. All right, so gotta go see Burrs. Burrs grow cash. Sir, Sir Fando is too humble to ask for advancement until prompted to. Man, walking around in heavy armor is just... I don't know, I usually do light armor playthroughs, well met. but, you know, I, I'm not used to doing sword and board characters, and I thought it would be a nice change of pace. Pleasure to speak with you. Aw, he's never said that before. Nothing now, not at your rank. Go see Azan in Anvil. Maybe he's got something. He told me to see you. You're due for advancement. I hereby name you Protector of the Fighters Guild. Okay, now do you have contracts? I've been told to send you to Coral for some duties. Speak with Orion. Okay. Good day. Is 
Seriously, I had to go across half the c continent. Like, if I did a no fast travel run, um, that would have been the most annoying thing. Just, I'm gonna go across the entire, entire country just to be told no. It's my pleasure. Please continue. You got some duties for me? I've got another job for you, slightly off the record. You'll be going on a mission with Varanus Dontom. Yes, the Guildmaster's son. Why are we doing this? You're to accompany him and make sure he succeeds. He needs some time in the field to get his confidence up, or he'll never become a good warrior. Velena coddles the boy too much. Doesn't want him in the line of fire. Suppose it's no surprise after Vitellus. Who is Vitellus? Velena Danton's eldest son. Good man. We lost him on a botched mission recently. You've probably seen the other wounded around. No. If you're smart, you'll steer clear of the subject around the Guildmaster. Perhaps you and I will have time to discuss it more later. His mother's been holding him back, protecting him. You'll go to Nanwul Cabin with him. Galtus Previa was lost there, and you're to find him. And not a word of this to the Guildmaster. Go find him. He'll be in the Don Tarn house, most likely. And bring him back in one piece. We got the contract from his aunt. Was in Nonwil looking for gems of some sort. Never heard from again. You and Varanus, go find him. Nonwil, that that sounds like Time's wasting. Whoever do it. Nonwil sounds like an alien ruin. I don't like the uh sound of this. Hello. Look at this. Stone architecture. Everything. What a mansion. Okay, I'll be trespassing if I go to any of the other floors. So where is this guy? outside nope he's, he's inside I need to go to the second floor but I need to trespass I don't want to trespass Did I just get a trespass? Nope. I've actually never been in, in this room. Oh, it's because you're sleeping. Greetings, guildmate. What can I do for you? A mission? Well, of course. I'm sure we can do this. You say this came from Orion himself. Well... Perhaps I should speak with Mother first. Uh, no time. We gotta go. Oh, I'm prepared, of course. I'm sure there's no need to speak to Mother at all. Let's go. Sweet. You must be in Nonwill somewhere. All right. I'm with you. Sweet. I have a companion. An inexperienced companion. But he's easily persuaded, and I like that in, in a uh, follower. All right, Nonwill, Nonwill Cavern. Oh, good. It's not an alien ruin. That's the last thing I want right now. Be face to face with a lich at what level am I? Six. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's right, I forgot to buy a horse. I keep forgetting to buy horses. It's not really worth it unless you get, uh, Shadowmere. 
Although there is a way to get a unicorn. Easy way to level up uh, acrobatics, folks, is just find a hill and jump up it. Doesn't matter how many jumps it takes. Or how much fatigue you lose. Just jump over all the hills. Ignore the roads. I don't know where Varenus went. It's okay, because we're almost at the cave. Non-will cavern. We made it. I'm sure he'll reappear at the door. Or not. Am I supposed to wait for him? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to wait for him. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Am I supposed to be Trolls? Um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for the ingredients. They're too heavy. Okay, make sure no harm comes to young Daunton. We must find Galtus. He's got to be in here somewhere. I'm with you. I wish I could just tell him to stay put. Ah! Don't do it! Look out, there's two of them! I only have healing potions for me! You alive? Where are you going? Don't wander off, that's how you get killed. Look at you. You're uh... Wait a minute. You got that crown on on you. You're invincible. What, what was I worried about? Oh, you fought a mud crab, that's why. Okay, so the dude should be down there. The electric shell. All right, let's just disable this. You don't really disable traps so much as just spring them. Chamber of the Titans. Yeah, that sounds like a very chill place to be. Oh, it's an ogre. Oh, he just... Just one shot our friend. Our friend has been one shotted. Um Oh, Newheim's special brew. Fortify strength for one minute. I'm gonna need that. I think, I think, I think. You know what? I'm glad uh, Mr. Danton is uh, invincible for this mission because I sure aren't. Absorb fatigue. Like, that's going to do anything. I don't have enough magicka. I have died. <laughs> no one told me there were going to be ogres. All right. Uh, new plan. I don't want steel bow. I want bow of burning. Which is good against uh, trolls, actually.
Okay. Oh, wait, I need to equip some arrows. Where'd you go? That's how you do it. The little jump when he when he dies. Okay. Take this stuff. And now we're going to wait one hour. That should reset our health. I hope. Snap. Okay. Do another little save. And here we go. Run, run. Back pedal. Nope, I need to get that guy. That's one. Their running animation is just like, like a, a little, it's like, like a boxer that's just really bad at faking out his opponent. Ogre teeth. Weighs three pounds. Bound boots. Grand soul gem. Nice. Nice. I think I might use that right away. Oh, look at his face. I'm so happy. Can you wave hi? Hey, everybody at home. I'm an ogre. Hello. <laughs> I think the, uh, f the frost atronach did it better. Can't wait with enemies nearby. How about right here? How about right here? Yes. We can wait right here. Is this where we came from? Yeah. Okay. Wait, that's also where we came from, so we gotta go this way. Watch out for cave-ins. Oh good, just a troll. Oh, oh crap. There's three trolls. Backpedal. Ah. Stop moving like monkeys. You're too quick. Ow. Ow.
Up. Oh, we're out of char- Oh, that's different. Hey, he's, he's doing good. I mean, he's not doing any damage, but he's holding his own. Enough to distract the trolls. Ow. Well then. You okay, Varanus? Nope. I was nervous there. We must find Galtus Previa. He must be here somewhere. Yes, he should. But I'm going to persuade you. Tell me more. Oh, he loves me. Never mind. I'm with you. Perfect score. I'm gonna wait one one hour. Regain some health. Let me know if you guys see a bedroll. I need to level up. Okay, I see trolls over there. I see boxes here. Ogre. Give me some health potion. I got him. I gotta wait to restore my health, otherwise I can't progress any further. I'm starting to fall behind the leveling system of the game. Thought there was a tripwire there. Right, we have oh no a minotaur and not just a minotaur a minotaur with a hammer all right let's see if we can poison him I don't have poison and my armor's broken okay could bound bind some boots and gauntlets let's see if this works let's get this over let's get this over I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you That wasn't so bad. Now to repair the... Oh. I guess it's not damaged. I don't know. That looks like the way out. I thought the Minotaur would be the most powerful enemy, but I guess I was wrong. Weak Potion of Light. That'll come in handy later. When the torch runs out. Still no bed.
Okay. Mr. What's-its-face should be right here. Yep. We found him. Oh. There's a broken shield. We should get back to Orion and report what we have found. Dead? I can't believe it. So much death. Yes, my older brother. He was lost on a mission. Vitellus died valiantly, as we all knew he would. He was the best of us. I'm sure our mother is very proud of him. Take care. Hmm. There's a broken shield next to the corpse. Is this dead end? Yeah, that is dead end. I want to see where that other door goes to. this is the way out. The Colovian Highlands. Indeed it is the way out. Alright. Honest merchants are not interested in stolen goods. My Remember this. Really. Except if your mercantile is high enough. Um, Varanus, you appear to be inside the table. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. You're back. What have you found out about Galtus' previous disappearance? Uh, he's dead. Dead? Damn. What got him? I found this shield near the corpse. Let me see that. Interesting. The symbols on it are familiar to me. I'll be looking into this. Anything else? That's all. For now. Good job, though. You got Varanus home safe, and I think it'll do him good. I'll pay him for the contract, and this for you. Ooh, long sword of numbing. Any anything else? I'm going to need you to find Maglir again, the little fetcher. What happened? That's right. The little vermin has defaulted on another contract. I need you to go babysit him again. You know he doesn't want to work for us, right? Wish I knew what happened. He had a contract for a local mage in Braville. Didn't seem like a particularly difficult assignment. He hasn't reported to the client at all. Get yourself down to Braville and find Maglir. Make sure that contract of his gets done and send him to me. Good Stop evening. staring at Hello. me. Let's get I to work. Alright. Sure saw... Time to level up. Alright, this one's a plus three because I did a lot of bow work, which is good. Uh, that definitely needs the increase. Endurance always gets an increase, but I think I want to do strength so I can play a little catch up here. I need to do a lot more damage with my swords if I'm going to be any level of competitive in the uh, levels to come. Because we are at level 7 now, and once we hit level 10, they're going to start throwing uh, the one-shot kills at us. That's not going to be fun. Or it would be. It will be fun to watch. It won't be fun for me. Uh, to Breville. 
and go find out what happened. Well, here's Breville. The lowest uh, income of any city in, a, in the entirety of Cyrodiil. Except the castle, which is pretty big. The city walls, which look like the city walls of all the other cities. And the chapel, which doesn't look any different than the chapels of the other cities. Interesting. Okay. Hello. Tell me about Maglir. Wait. For you? Of course. Yes, tell me about Maglir. Maglir. I think I've seen him. Try in the Lonely Suitor Lodge. Good enough for me. Farewell. All right. Uh, chain mail. No. Paintbrush, yes. Lonely Suitor Lodge. Across the river. What an odd post for a guard. Just like next to a statue. Like I know it's a statue of a deity, but like wouldn't you rather be like over here next to the shop or the inn to keep the peace? Oh look. You again. Hello! You again. I imagine I know why you're here, Gildrat. Certainly. Yeah, he still likes me. Varun Vamori really has a silver tongue. Defaulted? That all you talk about? I'm Blackwood Company now. Plenty of work, the pay is good, and I don't have Orain on my back all the time. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Oh? I know you're the one who ratted me out to Orain about that other contract. Go back to Orain. Give him my regards. We're done talking. You told you told him I can tell him whatever I wanted. Hey, Jita, how you doing? What can I do for you? Yes. I'm gonna make you like me. I, <laughs> I not now. Not. I wish I. Eh, sorry. Don't please. Oh, I I'm see. Sorry. No more. There we go. Don't. Remarkable. Don't. Well done. No more. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just stupid. Don't. I accept. <laughs> That's just. Done. Well done. That was a good rotation. Don't. Uh, really? I accept. I have no choice. There we go. How you doing? I understand that Fatis Aran is quite the conjurer. That's definitely a rumor. Farewell. That's a true rumor, nevertheless. Okay. Uh, quest. So, he's tired of trying to scratch. So he's joined the Blackwood Company. Okay, but uh the job. Hey. Got nothing else to say to you. Hell. Well, he got angry at me quick. What about the job? I got to do the job. I guess I could uh Go back to the guild, I guess. Alright. I'm gonna tell Orain about it. He's not gonna be happy. I'm only asking for a single coin. I'll give you One a single coin. coin. And I can get a pair of shoes. Thank you, kind sir. Blessings of Standard upon. I hope he gets his shoes. 
You better have like a really good pair of shoes when I get back. Hey, Rain. Yes, I assume you've spoken to that lout Maglia. Yeah, he quit. The little bastard. We took him in when no one else would. This is how he repays us. Talk to Ariari and reveal. She's our client. Do the job. Stop staring at me. See, why did I have to go all the way back? Why couldn't I have just done the job when I was there? Couldn't have told me... Couldn't have told me, like, who he was supposed to do the job for? I'll do it. It's the lucky lady. I know exactly what the lucky lady does. Fortify luck. Ten points. The RNG is now in my favor. Fighters Guild, here to help out with Mages Guild. We work together. Greetings to you. No, it's about time someone from the Fighters Guild showed up. I've got work for you to do. I need Impgall for my research. You got it. I just don't trust them. I know they're efficient, a bit too efficient for my liking. Some endeavors demand time and care. Go ahead. Let's persuade you. I doubt it. What a fool you are. Really not bad. Not bad at all. Really not. Sure, that's cute. I doubt it. That's cute. I doubt it. What a sure, that's cute. Talk tough to me. No, you do. I doubt it. <laughs> that's cute. No, I doubt it. Sure, that's cute. Don't. What a that's. I doubt it. I doubt it. What? what a that's pretty good. I d not bad. Not bad. Don't. No, you do me too much. I see. There we go. I need imp gall for my studies. Ten portions of it, in fact. Since I hired the Fighters Guild, I expect you to get it done. And carefully, please. You might check Robber's Glen Cave for the imp gall. That place has been known to contain the imps. Okay. Good enough for me. I'll be waiting I'll for right someone here. here. Robbers Glen Cave. It's way up there. I'm gonna call this the last quest warning. I wonder if Maglier has a house that we can fill with a certain type of produce. Probably should have stayed to the roads, but, um, you know, doing Fighters Guild stuff when you haven't, uh, really progressed the main quest at all, um, has its benefits. There's no Oblivion Gates opened up. He's a tough little boar. I'll make a potion out of that. Acrobatics up the hill. What? My 
presence won't be tolerated. What's going on? What did I do? Don't look at me with those sad eyes. Alright, I guess we're doing this. One lockpick. What a waste. Sure is foggy out today. Ah, yes, Robber's Glen Cave. You know, can't wait with enemies nearby. All right. Well, let's head on inside. Now, can I wait? Nope. Still can't wait. Okay. Oh, drink a potion of light. And I'll have one of Newheim's special brews. All right. Oh, where's the auto attempt? And we're out of lockpicks. That's okay. I need ten samples of an imp gall. That's one. And two. Oh. Are they fighting each other? So good. I think that's four. Resist magic. I'm going to need that. Wait, you're... I'm getting real low on health. That's five. Can I wait? Can I wait? There we go. Alright, and we're back. Let's see if I can repair some equipables. Alright, that'll do. My uh, light spell wore off. That's a shame. Okay, what does that bring me up to? Imp gall. Six. I need four more. I count two in this room. Got him. Okay, seven. Eight. There's the chest. Flammable touch tome. Let's read that. Ooh, weakness to fire. That's that's a good spell. 
Alright, where's the next two? Here's one. Huh. Convenient that you're right next to each other. Oh, don't fall off the edge. I need you over here. And he fell off the edge. Oh. He's got a friend. His friend appears to have fallen off. Okay, he's going up that way. And ten. Okay, if he went up that way... Yeah, this must be the only way up. Take those arrows back for safe measure. And now the fun begins. Since I don't want to climb all the way up. I'll just drop some paintbrushes. Oops, I picked that one up. little trip for or tip for anyone trying out oblivion for the first time uh, save your paintbrushes you can, they can help you get out of sticky situations like this trapped at the bottom of a cave and nowhere to or no way to get back up paintbrushes Easy as pie. That is not the way we came. It's not the way we came. Not the way we came. Want to prevent enemies from chasing you through through a dungeon? Paintbrush it up. See, he's stuck. We're good. All good. No, no fear. Yep. Looted chests. We've obviously been here. All good.
All right, we made it out. Now we can go back to Brazil and fulfill the contract. Yay, good luck. Okay. Greetings. What exactly do you require? Looks like we'll have to wait until morning. So she'll come back. Just, you know, wait in the lobby for eight hours. Perfectly normal behavior. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you are excused. Well, have you found that imp gall for me yet? I've got some research I need to get to. Yes, I did. Here you go. Ah, uh, you've got it. Looks fresh, too. I realize you'll be paid by your superior, but take this as well. It might come in handy in your work. Thank you. Next time, on time, please. Ring of Aegeus. Ring of Aegeus? 15% shield? I like that. That's a pretty good item. All right, and that is the quest. Let's find. Uh... How are you today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Nice to meet you. What is it now? Yes. Okay. I believe there's a skooma den up here we can fill with tomatoes. Yep. Here. Hello. There are I can't break in though. Um. Where is a... Does anyone know where Maglier's house is supposed to be? Should I should look it up on the wiki real quick. Maglier's house. Does he even have a house? Maglier. The UESP. Does he have a house? Um, you meet him in Skimgrad. Encounter him in Anvil. Breville. Leowin. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't have a house. So I can't get I can't get revenge on Maglier. So Yes. Where where can we go then? I got to fill up somebody's house with something. Let's see, I haven't been to Bruma yet. Shaden Hall. Desolate mine. Trying to think of all the people who are mean to me. Oh, there, there's that one dude. Oh wait, he lives in the inn though. It's like, um, I'll go to Coral. Let's see. There is, is there's a mean person in Coral, I think. some place I don't know What's the story on Maglir and his contract? What is it? Shouldn't you be taking care of Maglir's contract? I did. I can't believe we lost another to that bunch. Well done taking care of the contract now. We can't afford to lose any of them these days. Here's your payment for completion of the contract. I think it's time for us to discuss the Blackwood company a bit. Okay. They weren't always a threat. Small-scale mercenary band. Until Riza Carr took over. Then came the fat Imperial contracts. After a mission in Black Marsh, they set up shop in Leowin. More ruthless than ever. It needs investigating. 
First, though, you need advancement. I noticed uh, the reward for the last gold was 200 coins, and I'm like, no wonder Blackwood Company is, like, so much more popular or pays better. It's like... You know, you're like, do all this work and you'll get 200 gold. I can find that in the dungeon. Your service to the guild has not gone unnoticed. Henceforth, you will carry the rank of defender. Bear the title proudly. I'm a defender. I've got something for you, but we're not going to talk about it here. I want you to meet me at my house after sundown. We'll talk more then. All right. You know, you've been kind of a jerk to me. Later. Hee hee hee. Hello. Okay, after sundown. And it is almost sundown. So we can go straight to his house. Saving up enough for some medicine. Well, get some medicine. Thank you. Blessings of our day. Always be nice to the beggars. Okay, so this is the dude's house. Okay, I gotta wait for him to go in. Wait, this is just some dude's house. I'm Melintus. Melintus Arncus. I think, uh. Yeah, I was gonna say. Actually? Hello. How goes it? Oh, hi. Yeah, I just stumbled upon a Thieves Guild rendezvous. Okay, I gotta wait. Either wait for him to open up his doors or something after sundown. Six o'clock seems like a good sundown time. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about produce? Good, you're here. <laughs> We've got duties to attend to. All right, let's talk about the duties. We'll talk later. Um... But I am in your house. I'm relying on you. All right, well. No other way, or no better way to pass the time than to fill somebody's house with uh, produce. Let's see what kind of produce we have. We have flax seeds. We have some wheat grain, imp gall, ectoplasm, refined frost salts, arrowroot ginseng. Dragon's tongue. Um, I'll be right back. He needs some good old fashioned corn, I think. I'm gonna fill up his house with corn. Let's see if I can buy some corn real quick. Northern goods and trade. Hi, do you have food? Hello, I don't... Uh, yes, pleased to meet Likewise. you. Likewise. Uh, oh, you don't sell stuff. I Hi. Only the... Tell me more. Oh, you're, you're, you really like... Can I interest you in some of my wares? Uh, you don't sell food. Never mind. You too. Goodbye! I need somebody that sells food. Oak and Crozier. Hi, you sell food. Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. Take your time. Oh man, everybody loves me. Have a look around. Uh, oh, I could fill it up with bread, apples, beef, cheese, corn. One piece of corn, please. A fine bargain for you. I We got corn, everyone. You too. All right. Fine greetings to you. I'm going to fill uh, Madrin Orain's house with corn. And that's going to be the end of the stream. Let's see if we can crash the game again. Let's talk. All right. 
we are going to do a little save because we're going to need to come back here and we don't want it littered with corn in the future. But here we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's fill this house with corn. <laughs> the very first try we crashed the game. Very first try. Uh, we can't end on that note. All right, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're going to uh, f fill this place with corn, but uh, let's start with 50 instead of 500. All right, that wasn't that impressive. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna take a, how about I take the steam overlay off? It seemed to work until I had the, uh, yeah, the FPS counter in the top. Okay, so we have that much corn. All right, Madrin, it's been good knowing you. Um, have some corn. This may crash the game again. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. Let's talk. No, you got corn everywhere. <laughs> Let's do this again. Ugh. We are now in the territory of seconds per frame. I'm just gonna bury Madrin or rain in corn. I wonder if I if I did this with watermelon how buried would we be like let's talk oh yeah just dis disabling the uh, the frame counter definitely helped because we got I believe this is the uh, third third batch of corn so we got like 1500 pieces of corn in here right now Uh, the frame rate is definitely chugging. He's just standing in a pile of corn. If you don't mind, I have things to do. Would you leave now, please? Uh oh, I'm trespassing. You told me to. You told me to speak to you here. Uh, through the cord. Corn bomb. I will crash the game before I leave your house. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're very understanding. Also, how is a guard supposed to get in through this door? <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Uh Okay, I think we're at 2500 pieces of corn in here. And I believe the entity crash limit is like uh like 4000. So, I might be able to do this. Uh it's chugging. It is chugging. I want to get over here. Oh, struggling to even open the menu. Yep. I gotta pick up a piece quick. All right, I think this might be it. This might be the one that crashes the game because my frame rate doesn't seem to be able to handle it. 
It's going. It's going. All right, we got 3,000 pieces of corn. Getting about uh, a frame a second. Okay. I don't think there's anywhere in the room I can look without uh, getting covered in it. But yeah, I'm. it feels like it's a frame a second right now. And 3,500? Can we get 3,500 without crashing? Amazing. This is so laggy right now. The developers did not intend for there to be this many of the same thing in any cell in the game. All right. Can I even open my menu? Okay. All right. To tie the record, 4,000. Oh, I can hear my fans starting to work. Oh, boy. All right, we have 4,000 pieces of corn. Can I even pick anything up? Like... Look at that frame rate. Oh, I got one. All right. Oh boy. Ultimate lag. Surely this will crash. There's at least four, 4,500 pieces of corn in this cell with us. I think I broke the game. He's like, could you please leave? And yet... I don't know what would happen if I talked to him. That's so much corn. All right. Can we get 5,000 pieces of corn? Even, even like the dynamic lighting is having struggles right now. 5,000 pieces of corn. There it goes. Seconds per frame. Oh, man. We gotta keep going. It's so hard to even open up the menu. My computer does not like me for this. So much. Oh man, I can barely control this. Is this it? Nope. It's still going. I think we have... What are we at? 
Are we? Is this fifty five hundred? Is this six thousand? All I know is there is so much corn in this room. I would love to just cast like a fireball. Do I have a fireball spell? And just explode it into the room. Let's see, flare, searing flare, voice of the emperor. Nope. If if I had some sort of like explosion device. Interesting. This longsword does more. Oh, that's because it's it's not uh, happy. You're here. We've got duties to attend to. Oh dear. I was just trying to pick up some corn. I don't want to talk to you yet. I'm relying on you. And I'm trying to move. Okay, I got one. Ah. Just keep it open. Just keep it open. Physics engine is not having a good time. <laughs> the corn is flying around the room now. I can't move. I got one. I, I think we're up to 7,000 pieces of corn. I'm not... I've lost count so many times. I'm just in awe of, like, what's going on here. Ugh, so laggy. Can I pick one up? Yeah, it's like two seconds per frame at this point. What's what's weird is I could leave this cell and I think everyone would be fine. Oh, hi, Milo. You wanna watch me crash the game? Okay. More. I can't even open my inventory anymore. This is flying corn. Up. Oh, there we go. More corn. It's like four seconds per frame. Yeah. The other one's still exploding out. Let's let's keep doing it. So much corn. Corn, corn, corn. Alright. This next one's gonna be the last one. If I can get it. Pressing tab as many times as I can just to open my menu. There we go. Alright, last one. That did it! It did it! I think we got like... That had to have been 8,000 pieces of corn. But we did it. <laughs> Alright. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.